This is KLST News at 5. Well, welcome back. Angela State University Theater Director Daniel Anderson here with us. You all are in the middle of a production. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, we're in the <laughs> we're in the middle of Equus right now. Uh, we just uh, opened last Thursday. Um, getting ready to go up to a brush-up rehearsal after I finish up Tonight? here. Yes, ma'am. And then... Uh, our shows start Thursday, and then we got Friday, Saturday, and then our matinee on Sunday. Okay, so, our so last weekend. How many performances coming up this week again? Friday, Saturday, Friday, and Sunday, right? Thursday, no, Friday, no. Saturday, and Sunday. Yeah, so we got four. Okay, okay. So you have plenty, and then of course the Sunday is a matinee. The at Sunday two. is a matinee at two. Tell us about the plot. So it's um, it's it's kind of a psychological thriller. Right. Uh, without giving away any spoilers, uh, our protagonist, Alan Strang, a, a troubled young man, has been found to be guilty of blinding six horses over the course of one night. And so he's sent to a psychiatrist, Martin Dysart, to kind of figure out why, get to the motive, to the reason behind it. Of course, Martin Dysart's going through his own professional and personal personal dilemmas. So it leads to this psychological tug of war between the two that really just builds to this to this really thrilling climax at the end. I think it's interesting. It was more than 10, 15 years ago we heard about this on Broadway. You know, it was such That's a right. such a such an interesting topic, kind of a controversial one in some way, but a really, like you say, an interesting story. It is. It was actually based on a true story. Uh, Peter Schaefer's friend was telling him about this case of a young man blinding these horses. Who loved horses. Who, who did. And uh, and Schaefer was so interested in the idea, he went back and talk, wanted to talk to his friend again. But unfortunately, his friend passed away before he could get any more details. So Schaefer just went ahead and wrote the story in, in kind of honor of his friend there. Interesting. Yeah. All right. Very much a drama. Tell us about your what, the rest of the season. A comedy coming up next. Yeah, we got a, we got a, uh, a couple of exciting shows. Uh, the next one we got opens April 20th. It's called Men on Boats by uh, Jacqueline Backhouse. It's a comedic tale about the first uh, explorers that mapped the Colorado River, this group of all men. Uh, but this cast is all female. Uh, directed by uh, amazing Lisa Fischel, who's head of our performance department. And they're, the location, the setting is Grand Canyon, is that correct? Yes, ma'am, yes, ma'am. Yeah, it's set going through the Grand Canyon and like the hijinks and shenanigans that that, uh, that group, that expedition find themselves in. Um, and then this summer, we're really excited about it because we're bringing a, a world premiere for a brand new musical, never been seen before. It's called Pearl. It's actually written by a San Angelo native. Yes, based, based kind of around here. Yes, it's, it is. It's based in, in San Angelo, based around the time of the big Santa Rita oil boom. So a lot of colorful characters, some great music, um, and we're really, really excited to be bringing that one to Will you. Will that one in the summer be the dinner theater? Yes, ma'am. That, and that one should go up the end of June, beginning July. Okay, so as soon as you wrap Equa, which again runs through this weekend. Yes, You'll get started on on tryouts for your April show. Then actually, we're already in. Are it. you the already? Men on Boats is already in rehearsals, and we just finished uh, our first round of auditions for for Pearl. So we're we're <laughs> a busy busy department, going going going. And then you're teaching classes too, correct? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, I still teach about four classes this semester. Busy guy. All right, before you get out of here to go for your brush-up rehearsal sure. for this weekend's performances, how can people get tickets? What's the best way to get schedule information and ticket information? Perfect. You can either come up to the box office at the car building, uh, and for, uh, the box office is open from 3 to 5, Monday through Friday. Uh, you can give us a call at the box office at 325-942-2000, or you can get tickets online at ASU Rams. Dot hometownticketing.com. Or just go to the ASU website and you can find Yes, ma'am, yeah, you'll okay. be able to find the link right there. Okay, again, March 9th, 10th, and 11th, 8 o'clock in the evening, and then the matinee on Sunday. On Sunday on the 12th okay. at 2. All right, Daniel, nice to see you. Nice to see you. Thank have you for good, having us. Have good shows. Nice to see you as Thank always. You.